Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I thought we'd do something a little different, a little fun, festive. Uh, today I will be doing kind of a poured Christmas tree, a poured abstract painting type Christmas tree. Um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to do something fun, a little different. Uh, but so today I've got the tree. The tree is just kind of a, like a wooden tree that I got from, uh, from Michael's. I guess I could have taken the sticker off so that uh, wouldn't paint over it. So let me just get that bad boy off. Uh, the tree was like 10 bucks. So anyway, I don't know. I just thought it'd be something different. So we've got the tree here and then we've got our colors. Uh, this is a light green. It's called like billiard table or something like that. Um, oh, sorry. This is called get up and go. It's a light green. Uh, this is a dark green called billiard table, I believe. This is a, a dark red called Vintage Red, I believe. And then this one is white. Um, you know, very Christmassy colors. And all of these are gloss enamel, but I suppose you could do this with acrylic if you, you know, diluted some acrylic or did, uh, if you did some fluid acrylics, you could do this. Um, but that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and just start kind of pouring the paint on and seeing how it goes. Maybe we'll do stripes, maybe we'll do big sections. I don't really know. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the, uh, the sides because the sides I feel like are going to be kind of hard to get the paint into. So I'm going to go ahead and put a decent amount of paint on the sides and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing. Hopefully you can see that. See, just make sure that you can. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna do a healthy amount of paint here. Now that we've got some on the sides, go ahead and put it up, and we'll drizzle our paint kind of down the sides here. Yeah, maybe we'll just go ahead and pour it right out of the can. That's a lot of paint getting used. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around here. All right, it's starting to slide around. Yeah, I'll just pour some down. Why not? Now this paint is a little diluted, but it's also still kind of thick. I think I did uh, diluted enough for this type of painting. But what I might do is just kind of use that paint over and over again. I don't know if you can hear those people in the background. Somebody is very excited to say goodbye. All right, so then we'll go ahead and kind of move into our other green here, and we'll start pouring down some, some paint on the sides. And the colors are starting to run together. And on the sides, it actually looks pretty cool. You can see the swirls here. That's pretty cool. What I might actually do is if there's enough paint in the bottom of this little tray at the end, maybe I'll just dip the, the tree in it and we'll kind of see how it turns out. So, we'll put those down the sides. Now just pour a little bit on there. All right. And looks like it's kind of covering it, but there is a bunch of, there's quite a bit of overlap. And sure enough, these sides are kind of getting neglected a little bit. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy on its side and we'll move on to move on to the red. Some really excited dogs in the background apparently. So we'll drizzle that over the sides. And then we're gonna flip it over. Oh, it looks like someone's dog got up. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's starting to make these little streaks on the side. That's kind of interesting. All right. Let's see if we can get this paint down the sides here. Well, it's definitely putting a lot into this little container. So 
I think we'll have enough to kind of dip it into it at the end. All right, so I've got most of it covered. Let's move this other paint along. as I paint there's a I have my garage door open so there's a dog running loose and he hears my dogs so apparently they're uh, going crazy None of this was happening before, before I started painting. Alright, a lot of background noise, I apologize for all that. You know, that's kind of how it goes, right? You, uh, you intend to do something, and then all this other stuff kind of gets in the way. And sometimes it distracts you, and, you know, you can either let it kind of get the best of you, or you just kind of push through it. So, all right. We've got a lot of uh, white here, a lot of coverage. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more green to this. All right, now here's what's cool. I do like the uh, the pooling that's here. I want to show you guys, but at the same time, if I do, it uh, might touch the phone. So there's a lot of pooling in there. You can see it right there. You can see down the sides and um, in the little container, there's a pool. So what I'm gonna do, if you guys can see that, is I'll, I may zoom in, but I like it so far, but I don't, I kind of, you know, this is a little boring to me. So we're going to go ahead and dip it. So I'm just going to push it straight into the paint and cover the whole side. And then we're just going to lift it out. All right. And we'll just kind of do it on the other side. Okay, so it kind of made these uh, swirls, and I don't really like the swirls. <laughs> um, however, there were some spots that didn't get covered with the paint, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of cover some of those. Just to make sure the whole thing gets covered. Okay, so now that it's kind of pouring off, it actually looks kind of cool. It's like, like a marble color almost. And I think the whole thing got covered. So, all right, now that it's kind of settling, I actually don't hate it as much. Um, it is dripping all over my counter or my, my table here, but I don't think there's much to do about it. Um, I'll probably have to put some paper towels or something down. These dogs, I tell you. There we go. Now we're all covered. <laughs> um, well, that's it. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys the final piece. I think it actually turned out cool. It turned out cooler than I thought. Um, I didn't think I was going to like those colors kind of sitting together, but it does kind of have the like the swirls that the that the type of paintings that I do have. Um, I mean, mostly it is kind of a poured painting, but I think putting it into the paint allows you to kind of get that cool, almost like a hydro dip effect. And you can see the swirls down there. 
and I think I could probably dip some other things in it. Um, I don't know, maybe other ornaments or something. But uh, yeah, that's it for the painting, guys. My uh, abstract Christmas tree painting. This is something you could totally do at home uh, with, uh, you know, with acrylic or whatever, and make your own, you know, decorations, ornaments, whatever. And it, you, it, what's especially cool about it is you could use whatever colors you wanted. So if you didn't want to use red, white, and green, you could totally use, you know, whatever colors you wanted to use for your own decorations. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Just thought I'd do something fun, different, and. Um, I got an interesting one for the next video, so I'll see you guys in the next video, which will also have Christmas-inspired colors, but an abstract painting, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.